So I bought this KMX in the front here. It's got good numbers on the frame and engine. I've got a log book. So it's a it's a project I really want to get stuck into and then the the KMX behind it's like a donor bike. So this was seized and um I basically put it together with bits I've got and had it running. But I've got a, a massive leak on the head gasket, so I'm gonna take that off and uh, get it going properly and see whether I can sort of have a second bike. So this is my donor bike, but I'm trying to th think of it now as my second bike because uh, I think I could make this good. But at the moment I've got this leak on the head gasket, but I'm just gonna see if it'll start. So I've got the compression tester on now. I'll just kick it a few times and see what we get. So I've got the compression tester on and what are we reading? Probably 60 at best. I know it won't go at that. So my last head stud is off. It's pretty wet. So I'm going to do the poor man's head skimming by running this over on a piece of uh, grit paper. So this was a, a piston I'd got out of another bike. Looks very worn. So I've got to remove the assembly that moves the valves. See the valves moving. These have got to be lifted up and then the bolt that's in there is already taken out and then it all pulls out. These have got to be lifted up so that they don't engage. Fiddly with one hand. And then these, you've got to remember which way around, because they are different. So that one goes on the right hand side from this orientation. Different type of valve for inlet and outlet. And I can work on that surface now to make it good. So I've I've tried to rough up inside. I, I'm not an expert, but I'm presuming that the uh, nickel seal's worn badly. But I've got nothing to lose by trying to um, get it to a decent surface and just trying a new piston rings in to save. If it works, it works. If not, I'll have to get it sent away and replated so these valves have got a timing dot on them so we'll look in the manual but I'll just explain briefly when I've got it back together where they go so I've got these two surfaces cleaned up probably could do it a lot better but because it's so worn on the cylinder needs replating I'm just gonna do as much as I can in a, a, to get it running. So when the power valve is fully open, that the timing dot should face forward. And then when the power valve closes, it's like a door closing. Goes that they close that way well, the camera's picking up the timing dot so everything seems tight now it's moving nicely just going to make sure my valves are timed correctly, put those little bearings in and then the o-rings on top. Hopefully we should be ready to go. 
So we're all back together. So I've just got to the stage now of adding coolant, which is the real sort of uh, game changer now. If I've got it all sealed up, and if it's not, it's quite heartbreaking after all the sort of time and effort put into it. So let's put some coolant in, check the compression, then see if it'll start. So I know I've got a worn cylinder and I've done just the basics, but let's see what we can get. So we've only got up to 75, 80, it's better than it was, but that's still not good enough really. But anyway, it might run at that. Moment of truth. definitely a case of the cylinder needs replating. 